What is going on my friends? Brian Hardy here plugging in and today we're talking about why you don't want to drink coffee or smoke cigarettes right after eating. Stay tuned because it's going to be a good one. What is going on my friends? Thank you for being here and for subscribing and liking and commenting and doing all the things on these videos. It is so appreciated. If you haven't subscribed or you're new to my channel, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you appreciate this content and hit like and share and all the things, but you don't gotta do that right now. Come back to that in a few minutes. Today we're talking all about why caffeine and nicotine are not a good idea directly after a meal. Now, it's very common practice that people will, in certain cultures it differs, people will have a cigarette, you know, smoke their cigarette or have some coffee after their meal, particularly a very heavy meal. Now, this gives a sense of relief, and if you've experienced either of these things, you've probably noticed that. If you feel very full, if you feel kind of sluggish, both of these, because they do increase energy, and they do a lot of things. I'm not even gonna get into the whole complex biochemistry of nicotine and caffeine and all the influences and impacts that they have in the system. What this video is really about is that they relax the pyloric sphincter. So think about, a valve and between our stomach and our small intestine or our upper intestine you might call it there is a valve called the pyloric sphincter and it needs to be closed when our stomach is full of food and very acidic right when the stomach's very acidic and it's digesting food it's breaking down food we want that food to stay in there for an hour two even three hours depending on what you've eaten so it gets processed and digested to a degree where it can be then entered into the small intestine where the valve releases, we have some bile action coming in from the liver, we have enzymes from the pancreas coming in, we have bicarbonate from the pancreas coming in to neutralize the acidic contents of the stomach, and all those things work together to promote healthy digestion. Now, when we have caffeine or nicotine after a meal, we bypass that process and we prematurely open that sphincter. Now this leads to acidic, overly acidic, undigested food coming into a part of the digestive system that it's not meant to be in. This can cause gastritis, inflammation further down the stream. It can cause, well, it can just throw off the digestive sequencing of what's going on between mouth, gut, intestines, and colon. So that process needs to be linked up for digestion to occur naturally and have complete digestion and assimilation absorption of what we want and elimination of what we don't want and so this process can be thrown off when we have those things so if you find yourself being habituated to smoke or drink coffee after a meal try waiting at least 30 minutes it'll probably also help you to not eat so much you might eat lighter because you're not going to be dependent on that thing i've definitely fallen to this myself on on times where i've been not as disciplined or not as uh, particular with my meals and being more dependent on stimulants like caffeine. And when I was living lived in Peru and I was training to be a um, you know traditional healer, I would smoke mapacho cigarettes after meals, and I got into a bit of a habit. And it was enjoyable, and it was cultural, and it was not great for my guts to be quite honest. And I did feel that as time went on. Same thing with coffee, you know. Um, so we definitely want to be aware of these things. If you're, if you have to have something, have a digestive tea, a few sips of warm digestive tea, uh, or some apple cider vinegar in a, like a cocktail, like a kombucha cocktail and not a whole lot of it, but a little bit. If you need something that's going to be ideal, right? Or some bitters. Those are the ideal things to have after a meal. Bitters is fantastic. If you've never tried that after a meal, that's an amazing digestive. It gets everything going and rocking smoothly. But that's just what I wanted to say. So if you find yourself in that habit, you know, maybe comment below, try it out, wait 30 minutes or try something else like we just mentioned and see if that doesn't improve your overall energy, your overall vitality and your digestive function. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said at the beginning, if you appreciate it, give it a like and a subscribe, hit that little bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And uh, if you have questions, comments, leave them down below. BrianHardy.ca is where you'll find me, BrianHardy7 on Instagram. Go ahead and give me a follow over there. It's definitely my most active social media. And uh, until next time, be well, stay vibrant, and have a beautiful day.